Carter now. <laughs> Watching her growth has been quite refreshing. It was wonderful to see how she's been able to create what and who she wanted to be and who she is. Um, very proud of that. I really am. Now, sustaining and becoming the icon that uh, Gladys Knight or Patti LaBelle or Johnny Mathis or Frank Sinatra or Sammy Davis Jr. is, I doubt. I really do. And I so much for joining me today. So today on Ear the Streets, we're going to go ahead and get down into the tea. We're going to be drinking that tea today. And make sure that you holler at us in the comments to become a subscriber. But otherwise, let's go ahead and get into what we came here to do, which is to talk about what happened with Dionne Warwick going on Essence interview and saying what she said about Beyonce. So we'll be back with that next. And we'll be getting into some commentary about that and join the conversation with us and, and definitely put your comment below what you think at the end and the question that we provide. So as you may know, it's going viral right now that, you know, Beyonce Warwick is saying that Beyonce is not iconic. She's not supposedly, you know, good enough. And I'm just going to go ahead and go in on that because as an African-American woman, I feel like black people in general put too much pressure on each other for their music. Now, I'm not trying to get racial here, but it's just kind of funny that like Madonna could be an icon, but Beyonce can't. She did go down a list of people that are pretty credible, but at the end of the day, that's, that's their time and this is her time. She's more than just a singer, she's an entrepreneur. There's been a lot of hateful videos online about she can't sing and all this other stuff. Now, I might have said that, you know, she's not all of that in the past, but it's just like, you know, to the point where they over market her, over, you know, overly promote her. And nobody else is being promoted the way Beyonce is because they're not working um, in that capacity. And I'm not saying that they're not working hard, but it's just like, to, it's funny to me that Dionne Warwick had so much to say. So I'm going to look at her um, network because I feel like, um, you know, she probably has had a lot of endorsements and different things that she's done in the past. Um, she is American singer and actress with a net worth of $10 million. That is her net worth. We look at Gladys Knight, which is one of the people that she did mention, which is $28 million according to Celebrity Net Worth. Now, let's go into Beyonce because I mean, it's not about how much money you make, obviously, but as I've been told, you know, with music, it's not always, you know, and just with in general, it's not always about how much money you make. Um, but at this time, currently, her husband's a billionaire. Uh, right now, Beyonce is worth $500 million. So she's worth, like, way more than all of them. But yet, they're sitting there saying that, hey, she's not an icon. Her husband is. How Jay-Z created his fortune is, you know, something different. A lot of people are saying that a lot of uh, people are, um, you know, saying this and that. But right now, as, as of today, Forbes is saying that Beyonce is worth $1.4 billion net worth. So I don't think it's all about the money. But I, I just don't understand how they're going to sit there and say that. Um, about her because she is more than just an artist. She is an icon to me in, in general. So what is an icon? An icon is a symbol. Icon can be described as a person closely linked to an idea. Um, that's one of the definitions. An example of an icon is a representation of something, person, thing, a symbolic noted figure. An example of an icon is a home or finder icon on your computer. That's not neither here nor there. <laughs> but, you know, I read whatever is said. So it's just strange to me that she's sitting here saying that she's not an icon. Let's go ahead and go back because I'm going to put in music icon to get the definition for that because I feel like, you know, we really need to get back to, you know, like, I don't know if she understands what an icon means as far as I know. Um, I feel like this is definitely what she is, but I guess she's just hating. You know, I don't understand that about black people, but we'll be definitely um, updating you on this story because I feel like she's gotten this wrong. An icon is a pop icon, a celebrity character object whose exposure in popular culture is regarded as constituted and defining characters of a given society or era. Pop icons, previous eras include uh, people like Benjamin Franklin and Mozart. And I think that's important because in that time, those are the people that they remember for their innovation, for their artist, artistry, and just period, just being in a lot of different areas that people, you know, pretty much know who that person is. They know that they, they are identified with fashion, just different things, you know. Um, a lot of people are a little bit concerned that Dionne Warwick's hating on her, and I feel like she is. You know, I feel like she is. You know, someone like Freddie Mercury could be an icon. David Bowie could be an icon. Bob 
Bob Dylan, Aretha Franklin, Elvis Presley, just to name a few. Uh, you know, people like Beyonce and Lady Gaga, which are, begs the question, what does our generation have to offer is usually what a lot of people are saying. And with her interview, she was like, oh, you know, she's not, da 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 da. And I just feel like a lot of people in general in our community, African American alike, whether you could identify as an African American or not, just being a minority, a lot of us in the African American area of it and music, just in general, and people hate on each other. I'm not gonna lie to you. Like, I'm saying this from my honest to God truth and my own way of looking at things. There's a lot of musicians today who look the part, but being an icon should be about more than just looking the part. An icon should be the full package, meaning not only do you look the part, but you have the substance to back your image. And I feel like Beyonce has that. So for her to sit there and say, oh, you know, she's not that good. You know, people think of Michael Jackson and her at the same time. It might've been something the press has put in today, but every move wasn't so calculated with um, some, some musicians like Jennifer Hudson. It's not her fault. It's just that she doesn't have that type of marketing that, you know, at that time frame that was behind her. And I think also it has to do with the songs being picked. Uh, Prince famously took issue with the internet's increasing relevance in the world of music, and maybe he was right after all. Um, a lot of people are concerned that people are just putting trash music out. And I, I feel like, you know, she did say a lot of great things about Beyonce, but at the end of the day, she was kind of hating. Now, do you think that Beyonce's an icon? Let me know what you think in the comments below. Thank you so much for tuning in to Radio Tube TV. Through the streets news with me, DJ Harmony. More on the story will be updated on our website and also on our respective YouTube channel where you're watching this right now. Otherwise, I will talk to you guys on the other side because we'll definitely be talking about a news update on the trending news segment. We have a Texas teacher was fired for sending racist tweets to Trump. We also have it that Jesse Smollett will not return to Empire for the final season as well. So I can't wait to tell you guys all about that. Don't forget to go ahead and tune in, you know, the Remy Ma, Brittany Taylor drama, you know, that's going on. Um, we have that on our podcast on the site, so make sure that you go ahead and check it out. But otherwise, do you think that Beyonce's an icon, and do you think that Dionne Warwick's just hating and she's just mad? I will see you guys in the comments, hopefully. You guys, if you're watching this, we go ahead and take a moment and comment, and I appreciate you for tuning in, and I'll see you guys next time. This is Radio 2 TV, signing off.